These ones are great. Um, we can't really use a point and then the slope on these because it's not linear. So the stair steps aren't going to work anymore. You can kind of use stair steps, but you have to be kind of a big math nerd to not do that for nonlinear equations. And that's okay if you're a math nerd. I am one, so I can say it's okay. Oh, this one's nonlinear, but not, be, not because of the exponent. Not that that had to make any sense yet, but I would make a table on this one. So, uh, can you pull it over a oh yeah, which way? All right, so let's find some values to work with. Now ah, that'll work. All right, I've got x and y. What values of x should we use? Zero. Or zero. zero. What else? All right, I'm choosing these values. Absolute value equations we have to be very careful with. All right? You're going to think that they're linear, but they're not because it's not a straight line. All right? So let's graph these points and figure out what we have. This first one, we got y equals absolute value of 2 times 0 minus 4. So y equals, what's the absolute value of 0? That's zero, so this kind of just goes away. That didn't work out very well. So y is negative four, which corresponds with this. So I can graph that point, zero, negative four, right here. Let's try the next one. So y equals the absolute value of two times one minus four. So two times one is two minus 4. What's the absolute value of a positive 2? Two? 2. So y equals 2 minus 4, which would be negative 2. So let's go and graph that point 1, negative 2, right here, right? Now let's try, uh, I'll so for example, if x is negative 2, then I get 0, negative 2, 0. So, uh, let me think of making this bigger will be. Oh, negative 4 minus 4 is 0. So negative. Yeah, so the absolute value of negative 4 is 4. Right. 4 minus 4 is 0, which is how we get this 0 here. Okay. And so we've already graphed that point. All right, so we'll do negative 1 as well. y equals the absolute value of 2 times negative 1 minus 4, so y equals absolute value of negative 2 minus 4, y equals 2 minus 4, y equals negative 2. So there we go. Alright, this is what we have. When x is 2, y is 0, and when x is 3, y is 2. So that gives us these other points right here like this. So there's a pattern that's happening, okay, is, and we have to kind of consider how do we connect these, right? I mean, do we connect it and make a triangle? No, right? Um, well, if this was just in slope-intercept form, we'd have y equals 2x minus 4. So if we graph that, we'd have a line like this one, right? The problem is, is it doesn't go below that's 0, 4 point. And that's because of the absolute value. So we would just connect the line using these other points with the slope now of negative 2.